Hey guys, Alex1860 here. Welcome back to another part of Let's Play Pokemon Silver. So, I was kind of upset when I got off because, kind of, well, missed catching Lugia. And I kind of don't really feel any better today. Um, I found Suicune. Or Suicune, I'm not exactly sure how that's pronounced, but, uh, it ran away! Yeah, um, I do have video of that, and actually I will show you that, so... Here it is. Well, I was training my Wobbuffet and my Jinx that I caught in the last couple parts, and, um... Yeah. Suicune. Not sure exactly how you pronounce it, it might be Suicune or something, but... I've always just said Suicune. Anyways, yeah. Um... I was obviously not expecting running into this, but, uh... And I know that I'm low-leveled here compared to it, but I'm... S no, no, I meant... There we go, okay. I accidentally pressed the... No! Ah, <sighs> frick. Okay, well, that was that. It kind of... Yeah. Yeah, well... At least it's not as bad as catching as not catching Louie yet, because at least Suicune I might have another chance for later. And besides, don't really like Suicune as much as I like Entei, which even more for this playthrough considering I have plenty of water types but like no fire types yet, so yeah. Anyways, first off, let's go ahead and fight Cool Trainer Paul. Now he has Three Dratinis, I think? Pretty sure? Not sure? But... Here with Dancer, I leveled... This is how I found Sukane, I was leveling up Dancer and, uh... Encounter. So... Yeah. But... Anyways... So... Dancer's level 30. Dancer has a few new moves, but... Wow, I wasn't expect. I mean, I knew that was super effective against. So I wasn't expecting a one-hit kill though. This might go pretty quickly. I guess I'll just use lovely or er, powder snow again. Lovely snow. I was looking at lovely kiss, the move right above it. But um, yeah. So this uh, <laughs> seems like it's gonna be a pretty easy fight right here. So, but let's. Considering bringing out Storm, you know what, just for this fight, let's just leave out Dancer. Because we don't really have a good Ice type on the team yet, except for, well, Dancer. And, um, yeah. Oh wow, and that was a critical. So even if that wouldn't have one hit killed it, yeah, well, okay, well, Cool Trainer Paul was defeated. That was a lot quicker than I thought it was going to be. So who's all up here? No one, okay, well. Looks like I'm gonna need strength, and I don't have Woody with me. Well, actually, I don't think I really need it, but... Yeah, so anyways, I guess I'll just keep fighting. And of course, if I do end up needing it, then, well, I will go back and get him. The area of Cedra. This is a Dragon-type gym, but this is a water enemy. I kind of understand that just because, well, it does evolve into a dragon. It evolves into Kingdra, which is a dragon type, but still, I, I'm not really understanding why this is in this gym, but oh well. Doesn't much matter. Let's just go ahead and Thunder Punch it. Six levels above me, but I. This will be super effective against it, so I'm not entirely sure if it's going to kill it or not. Hopefully it does. Um, just barely it looked like, because that was going pretty slow. But either way, 610 for each of them, that was pretty nice. And Fran was defeated. Well yeah, this gym might go by a lot faster than I was thinking. Um, oh, wait, yeah, I know what to do. Duh, I have to move blocks down to the holes, and yeah, well, oh well, I'll do that, I'll get Woody, and then I'll come back here off screen, but first off, I'm just going to fight this guy, and I'm probably going to fight the next guy downstairs, because I saw him down there, 
But after I do that, then... Well, yeah, then I'll go and get Woody. Anyways, Horsey here, another water type, so I'm, again, not really understanding why, but just a Horsey, I'll leave Dancer out, I'm just gonna Ice Punch it. I know it's not gonna be super effective, but still pretty good. Mainly because it was a critical, but even if it wasn't, well, it still would have taken off at least half its HP, so that would have been okay. But a Cedra, yeah, let's change again. And let's not use Shep this time, because that was... Let's go ahead, let's bring out a Counter, I guess, because we really haven't used uh, Counter all that much on screen. Off screen, again, I've been training him a lot, but... Because before he was level 20, I think, but now he's 30, so that was... Bit of... Bit of training, bit of training. But, yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and use Mirror Code here. Because if I remember right, water moves are special attacks. Pretty sure about that. Not 100% positive, but... Okay, now if you could just do an actual attack, that would be great. Yeah, Mirror Code... Ba yeah, okay, here we go. Now we can test it out. Mirror Code and Ken are basically two sides of the same coin. Basically, Mirror Code just reflects... Or basically counters special moves, whereas counter counters physical moves, and... Well, yeah. When you counter it, does twice as much damage as you get, and luckily Wombafet has really high HP, so that's... That's good, that's good. Especially since that kind of just took down the Seedra in two hits. And gave it half the experience that it needed, so that was nice, but... You're dead, and let's move on to the next guy. It should be down here. Yep, just one. You should be the last trainer, and then I can go get Woody and move the blocks to fight Claire. Anyways, cool trainer Mike, let's see what you have. A Dragonair. So another Dragon type. I guess we could just keep Dancer out for this. Uh, not sure if Powder Snow would kill it. I mean, it would probably do a lot of... Yeah, it would definitely do a lot of damage, but I don't know if it would kill it. Let's just be safe, use an Ice Punch, and probably take this down in one hit. Probably, not definitely. But, uh, yep, we did, so he was another really quick one. But, oh well, not complaining about that at all. And, you know, when I was going into this, I was kind of thinking that these fights are going to be a lot longer, and that I would have to speed them up. And I'm really glad that I don't have to, because that really does take a lot of... Or that takes a lot more time editing than just not having to speed anything up at all. So, yeah. Anyways, I'm going to go ahead and heal and grab Woody, so I will be right back. Okay, guys, well, heading back over to the gym. And... But yeah, what I was basically trying to say was that uh, it's a lot easier to edit when I don't have to do all the speed up. And I really don't like having to use the speed up in the first place, but this game is kind of about the fighting, and yeah. So wait, what am I doing? I need to push the blocks in. But yeah, so... Well, yeah. Anyways, I will need to go on to the other side of this. Maybe. Hang on. No, never mind. Duh, I'm, I'm being stupid again. Okay, well, anyways, I... Actually, don't think I could use that one. Okay, great. I think I screwed that... Hang on. Okay, there we go. They do reset. And that's what I was checking. I wasn't entirely sure. So, kind of wondering exactly how to do this now. Um, I feel kind of stupid for that. But, anyways, I will... This one's easy. This one's obvious what to do. This one just gotta move this over here, and I can move that down. So that's one down there. Not sure if I have to get all of them or just one. I'm pretty sure. Well, I I'm not. I don't know. I might have to get more than that, but I'm pretty sure just one will do. Just to make sure, though, I'm gonna do all of them. 
but there we go. That one was a lot easier than I was making it out to be, so that's good. And I guess I just gotta go behind this one. Oh wait, Death Trainer, never mind. Can't do that. Here we go. Okay. Move this up and move this down. Again, I'm not entirely sure, but let's check. Okay, well, I, that wasn't that one that I had to move. That one was completely pointless, I guess. And what about this one? This one completely pointless? No, it wasn't. Okay, that was actually a good one. And there was another trainer fight. Okay, well, I guess I'll be fighting you. And I don't think I'm gonna have to go heal before I fight Claire. I don't think I will. Really doubt that this person's gonna do that much. Especially with a Dratini. Especially with a Dratini. Anyways, sending out Dancer, obviously, because that's who's in front. Powder Snow, and like the others, this one should be taken out instantly. Um, also, I did equip Dancer with a Never Melt Ice, so that way her ice moves will be, well, stronger. And the Dragonair, well, we, we know what to do with that. We took another one out earlier. This one, I think, is a little higher level than that one, though, so I'm not sure. Ice Punch... Well, actually, Ice Punch should still take it out. Never mind. Uh... Hopefully... Yes, it did. Okay. Wasn't entirely sure about that, but even if it didn't, well, I would have still had another turn. Anyway, so far, again, this is really... This is a lot easier than I remember this place being. But, oh well. I guess for the final gym in this area, I was kind of expecting... I was kind of expecting a bit more. But, yeah, well. I'm not complaining, it makes it easier to edit, so, yeah. Anyways, going to send out Dancer. Gonna send... well, I guess I'll just use another Ice Punch. Really, Dancer could probably take out this entire place. Um... I'm not sure. I think that she does have a... Um, Giardos, and if she does, actually no, even that, that would, that's water and flying, and ice is good against flying, so, and I didn't see what she's sending. I'm not sure if she does, though, so don't quote me on that, but I'm pretty sure she does. Wow, level 40, okay. This is getting to be a little more interesting, still not really all that interesting, though. Oh, never mind, I take that back, I take that back. But here I'll go ahead, I'll use a lovely kiss. Let's <laughs> put that to sleep. So that was... Yeah, this is pretty... This is going pretty easily. Now I'm not sure if this next Ice Punch is going to kill it or not. But, either way, after this I'll probably switch out Dancer, because Dancer's been out for the entire gym pretty much. Not entirely. We did use Shep for fight. We did use uh, someone... We, uh, we did use counter for another fight, but Dancer's mainly been hogging the experience here, so let's send someone else out. Let's send out Storm. I guess this kind of fits the place a little better, since Dragon Gym has Dragon Attack. Not a Dragon type, though, but hey, whatever. There have been Water types in this place, so... Okay, I didn't realize her Dragonair had Thunderbolt. Uh, don't die, don't die, don't die, don't... Oh. Well, then... Um... Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what it's gonna do. I think it mainly has special attacks and not physical ones, so I'm gonna try Mirror Coat here. Hopefully... Good, good, Thunderbolt. I should be able to live through this, and whatever damage I get, I will do double to it. Which didn't really do as much as I thought it was going to do. Still going to do... Oh, actually, okay, that killed it. I didn't think that was going to do that much, but hey, okay. Anyways, I guess I'll just leave out counter and finish her off. I thought I could swear she had a Gyarados. I don't know. Well, oh well. I'm not complaining. I guess I'll just use another Mirror Coat. Uh, Ice Beam, I'm trying to remember if Ice is physical or special. I'm pretty sure it's physical, but I'm not sure, so... 
No, apparently it's special, because Miracut worked. Kind of surprised I haven't had to use counter like at all in this gym, but whatever. I'm not really complaining. Well, I guess I'll do that again. Oh, Thunder Wave. That's not all that great, but... Eh, whatever, I guess. Another Ice Beam? This, sh this isn't going to take me out unless it's a critical. But, um... Yeah. The Dragonair's dead. Claire's beaten. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay guys, sorry about that quick jump cut there, kind of, uh, well, my washing machine kind of just went berserk there, so I kind of, well, yeah, I had to shut it off. Anyways, I'm back, sorry about that, but 4,000, that's pretty nice, although for gym leader I was kind of expected, so, anyways, I should take the dragon user challenge. Behind this gym is a place called Dragon's Den. Go and bring her a dragon fang from deep inside the den, and that's that's what I need to do to be a true dragon user. So if I can do that, I will be ex or she will accept me as a worthy trainer. But I, apparently, I need to do that, otherwise I won't get a badge. Which I mean, I'm not really complaining about. This gym was really easy, so yeah. Um, yeah. Ah, okay, sorry about that. Okay, well, anyways, another thing about the Dragon Den is, um, it's the only place where I can catch Dragonairs, I think. And, um, remember there's a girl here who would love a female Dragonair to, uh, trade for a Rhyhorn. So that's pretty nice. Anyways, I don't think I even need to heal. Um, oh, yeah, I do. Storm Painted counters, like, yeah. So, actually, I will heal. Okay, guys, so here we go. Let's head over to the Dragon's Den. Uh, I was actually starting to record this, but um, apparently I needed Whirlpool. So, wasn't sure if I would or not, but yeah. Anyways, first things first, let's go ahead. Let's use a Max Repel. Again, this part... There's really nothing good in this water that I've seen anyways, but um, I don't know, maybe there is and I'm just getting Magikarp, but yeah. Anyways, in here though, we will have new Pokemon, just I'm probably not going to be showing them right now. Uh, again, I know the Dragonair is here. If my Max Repel wears off, then I'm probably just, I might put it back on, I might not. I'm probably going to go through one Pokemon battle if that happens and see what all I get. Anyways, um, that's kind of besides the point. Let's go ahead, let's head down here and use Whirlpool. That we can move on. And what's over here? That's just the other side of the shrine. But over here we have some land. Kind of want to see if there was anything... Okay, well, I'm glad I didn't touch that land, actually. Uh, but... That's the dragon thing. That was a really easy test. But just for getting that, just for doing that little thing, was... gave us the badge. That was pretty easy for... I mean... For picking that up, you can be recognized as a true dragon user, is what she was saying before. Really? All you need to know is Whirlpool? <laughs> okay, well, whatever. Um... But yes, now I have to go to the Pokemon League and the Indigo Plateau, and I have to go to New Bark Town and Surf East. But anyway, so now I have all the badges, I can do that, I have Dragon Breath, I can use Waterfall. That's pretty helpful. Pretty helpful. But, um, yeah. Anyways, I guess I'll just head back and, I don't know, this is a pretty short video, I guess, but... I don't know, it might not be, because I have, I was fighting everyone at the gym, so, I don't know. Though, Professor Elm's calling me now. Alex, I have something here for you. Can you swing by my lab? See you later. 
Okay, well, I guess I'll be doing that in the next part. So thanks again for watching, guys, and I'll see you guys later.